story of redemption, a career criminal taking the straight and narrow, or is he? Five Investigates Mike Baudet sat down with the man at the center of it all. And the one thing that is for certain, that's just where this convicted felon likes to be. You are a career criminal. I am a career criminal. Shy is not a word you'd use to describe Sean Murphy. What the FBI said it, there aren't many people like Sean Murphy out there. But we're not here because of Murphy's past. We're here because of this, thousands in donations for veterans collected outside supermarkets. This business is a legitimate petitioning company. Murphy is the office manager for a company called Political Petitioning of Mass, or PPMA. The business plan, Murphy explains, is to get paid to collect signatures. But until someone hires them to do that, PPMA is taking on a cause for free. They have a petition going on to help homeless vets. But the company is collecting more than signatures. It's also collecting cash through a nonprofit called Help Homeless Vets. The collections to keep the company going. Murphy says no one's profiting from the money. I get my paycheck every week. And he just draws a minimum wage salary. Anything that is coming for PPMA has just strictly been for the business. Everything is on legitimate. Murphy showed us records that he says document all the cash coming in from June through September and what went out to the National Coalition for Homeless Veterans after paying employees and other business expenses. They collected more than $43,000, but only donated $871 to the charity. That's just two cents out of every dollar going to veterans. Are you still involved in criminal activity? Not as of now, no. The cause for concern is Murphy's long criminal record. He carried out break-ins worthy of a Hollywood movie. There was the Brinks job in Ohio, where Murphy was convicted of breaking into a vault holding nearly $100 million in cash. Closer to home, Murphy pleaded guilty to breaking into jewelry manufacturer E.A. Dion in Attleboro in 2008, stealing $2 million in jewelry, including Super Bowl rings made for the New York Giants. If he's going to redeem himself, great, but he's going to try and prove it to us. Kim Emerling is the director of veteran services for the city of Salem. He and other advocates became concerned after learning about Murphy's record. They called him into a meeting. We started asking about how the money, how much money and where it's going. Were you satisfied with his answers? No. <laughs> they didn't make any sense. Yes, we all want to end veterans homelessness, but this is not the way to do it. The group issued this warning after their meeting. We recommend that you do not donate to this organization. And they notified the attorney general's office. Murphy is part of a lawsuit suing Emerling and others for harassment, libel and slander, loss of business and other claims. In the lawsuit, Murphy says Emerling had no authority to demand PPMAs or help homeless vets financials until those financials are filed in accordance with the law. I grab my paraphernalia, my utensils. Dan Miller knows the business. He worked there. I put the petitions here. He also knows about being homeless because the Marine veteran was homeless back in 2003. I've had a number of people make very large contributions. $100 bills, $50 bills. He says he doesn't know where the money was going and has since quit. It was all about getting the money so we can get it to the veterans, but nothing concrete, nothing specific. We watched Miller in action outside a busy supermarket on the Cape, collecting signatures and donation after donation. Murphy was inside the store doing the same thing. On another day, we saw Miller delivering ammo boxes filled with cash to Murphy outside PPMA's Danvers office. Can you understand why people would be suspicious of you being involved with a business like this? No, I, I, I would understand any of that. But what people got to understand is, is that I'm a professional burglar. When I needed money or I wanted money, I could go out and make it in one night. This is a 100% legitimate business. We reached out to the National Coalition for Homeless Veterans, which tells us it's been contacted by the Massachusetts Attorney General's office. The AG's office wouldn't comment. Murphy says he's now quit PPMA and is working at UPS, but the owner of PPMA tells us the company plans to use any excess money to distribute backpacks filled with personal items to veterans on the North Shore, but not in Salem. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates.